Okay, today we're going to learn how to create a pattern swatch in Adobe Illustrator CS5. It's really quite easy. Uh, first you draw your pattern, whatever you want it to be. So I drew four circles here. I'm going to select the four of them, drag them into my swatches panel here. And right now I only have my pattern swatches showing. So I drag them in. Uh, let me deselect my circles here. I'm going to double click here, give it a unique name. I'm just going to call it circles. Say OK. And now we've created a pattern swatch. Now let's apply this to something. Let me zoom out a little bit. I have a little a yellow square here. Let me zoom in. So to apply this swatch, uh, all you have to do is select it like any other swatch. So there we go. So now the pattern fills up this square. But now uh, you may want to manipulate how this pattern appears inside your uh, object here. Uh, let me give my object a stroke so you can see what's going on a little bit better. Make it a little thicker. Here we go. So now if you wanted to change the size of the pattern within this square without changing the size of the square it's very easy just select it of course go to your scale tool Oop, double click you get the dialog box here and now look in the bottom here so by default objects and patterns are both checked so watch what happens if I put my uh, cursor here let's make it a little bigger Oop, I should hit the preview so now, both my object and my pattern are going to either grow or shrink. But if I want to keep the box the same and just change the pattern, I uncheck object over here. So now whatever change I make, it's only affecting the pattern inside. So I can make it smaller like so. Uh, let me say OK. Now the other thing you may want to change is you may want to change the angle of the pattern inside your object. So we just go to our rotate tool here, double click on it. And now I also have the option to rotate the objects and the patterns or just the patterns. So let me put my cursor in here. And now you can see the pattern is rotating but the object is not. So I'm going to say OK. Now one other thing that affects the way your pattern and your object relate is actually inside the transform panel. Let me open up my transform panel. Go to the little drop down menu here. So on this list here you see by default transform both is checked by default. So if I get my regular selection tool and I grab a corner and I drag, it's going to enlarge the object as well as the pattern inside. But if I make a change here, let me open this up here. Say I uncheck transform both and I say transform object only like so, if I grab a corner with my selection tool and I scale up or scale down the object, you can see the pattern is staying the same. Also, I can check pattern only. Now, this gives you a little warning here. So, really, the only thing you can do is change the angle. If I try to resize it, it doesn't work out. But if I change the angle, using my transform tool you can see the angle changes but the object does not. Let me show you how to edit a pattern. Let's get rid of this. I'll make a new one. Alright now say I'm going to put this back to default. Say you want to make a change to your pattern. So right now my circles are green, yellow, cyan, and red. Say you want to change this red to like a purple or something like that. Uh, and you don't want to create a new pattern. 
you want to edit the pattern you already have. Well, let's say, let's start really from scratch. Say we don't even have these original circles anymore. So I'm going to delete them. What do we do? Well, this is what we do. Make sure nothing is selected. Go and grab your pattern and dra just drag it directly to an empty area on your artboard. And here we go. So what happened here, Illustrator made a group out of them. It did make this invisible triangle, uh, rectangle in the background, but it created a group. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, edit the group here. I'm going to double click to go into isolation mode, change it to like a purple. Let me get out of isolation mode. So now I'm going to select my circles again. Now I'm going to drag it on top of the pattern I want to edit. Hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac and you see a black frame appears around the pattern. Now if I let go of my mouse, it's going to change that pattern. There we go. So now you see all the red circles have turned to purple. Okay, so that's the end of part one. Part two will be coming soon.